Hi everyone, my name is Adriana Orozco and I work for Aquatics at CSD. I'm here to read today, Josh the Baby Otter. And this is by Blake Collingsworth and it's illustrated by Ashley Spitznogel. It is a bright sunny morning. The water is sparkling and a raft of otters are very excited. There is a new baby otter, Josh. Alex the otter swims over to the new baby's mother and says, he's a cute little guy. What's his name? His name is Josh, says Claire. I like that name. Can he come play with my buddy Austin and me? Asks Alex. It will be a while because he first needs to learn to float. This will help him become a really good swimmer. Then he will be able to play with you and Austin. Everyone should learn to float, says Josh's mother. Why, asks Alex. When we get too tired or the waters are too rough to swim, we can roll on our backs, look up at the sky, relax and float. One of the very first things otters teach their babies is how to float. This keeps them safe in the water. I don't remember learning to float, says Alex. That is because you were taught at a very young age, says Claire. Was it hard for me to learn, asks Alex. Actually, you learned quite quickly, and until you learned, you were always with an adult. You practiced a lot while being held and supported, says Claire. Soon you were floating on your own, but someone was always by your side. You should never float or swim by yourself. Austin and I always swim together, answered Alex. Can we be Josh's swimming buddies? That would be very nice. Thank you for asking, replies Claire. Alex hears his mother, Nicole, calling. Alex, come here. It's time for dinner. Can I bring Austin later to see Josh, asks Alex. Sure, says Josh's mother. You are always welcome here. Alex swims off. See you later, he says. See you later, says Claire. And here comes Alex and Austin. Hi, Claire, says Alex. Hello, boys, says Claire. You are right, Alex. He is a cute little guy, says Austin. Can he play with us, asks Austin. Oh, no, not yet, answers Claire. Josh is finishing his floating lessons. Would you boys like to help me with Josh? That would be great, says Alex. I'm getting ready to let Josh float on his own. Can the two of you float by his side and hold his paws? Asks Josh's mother. Sure, says Alex. Austin seems a little scared. It's okay, Austin. I will be right here with the three of you. The whole time, assures Claire. Claire slowly floats away from Josh while Alex and Austin hold his paws, so he won't float away. Yay, says Alex. He's floating by himself, yells Austin. Now that he is floating, he can start learning to swim, says Claire. Would you boys like to help me with his swimming lessons too? Oh yes, they say ex excitedly. We can begin tomorrow. Be here bright and early in the morning and we will get started. Alex and Austin are very excited and swim off to tell their parents. See you in the morning, says Austin. Thanks, Claire, says Alex. You're welcome, boys. See you tomorrow. Even though they do not remember learning, Alex and Austin have been reminded how important it is to try new things. Floating is the first thing you should learn if you want to be in the water. With a few lessons and a little time, you too can learn to swim just like Josh. Remember to always stay away from water unless you are with an adult. We all want you to be safe just like Josh. Float early, float first, float for life.